What is going on out there, Supersonic? Thanks for tuning in. Quincy, Massachusetts, huh? What's up, everybody else? Today is Friday, April 19th. We have made it to Friday. Excited to get into today's live stream. Have a few cool things going on. We're just walking up this aisle right here. Thought I'd start off today's stream by shipping out an order. Beth placed an order just a little bit ago. Thought we'd go and gather her items, and you guys can help me pick out a free gift to throw into Beth's order as well. And I see a collection over here at our table. We're gonna be opening this up and seeing what's inside. It's where we get all the stuff that we sell. You can see our shelves stocked with all these games, consoles all out here on the floor, aisles of accessories, and it all comes from people just like you out there who reach out to us, ask us to buy their collections. Okay, let's get into it. What's going on, Nolan? How you doing? What's up, Sarah? I'm glad you made it today. Happy Friday indeed, Alex. What's up, Nikki? Hi, Sir Charles. Glad you made it. What's going on, Summer? Look at the bubble wrap. I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Okay, uh, let's jump into it today. I'll hand the phone off. Okay. Got an order right here for Beth. Let's start off with this one. We're gonna head down this way to pick up the first items. And it looks like she's getting this for her husband. Nine year wedding anniversary. Okay, yeah, right there, next aisle. There we go. I'll start right here. And they're going with Game Boy cartridge dust cover cases, two of them. Got those right here. Now down to Game Boy games. Will you please fill my order, Beth said. My husband and I are celebrating our nine-year wedding anniversary. Couldn't think of a better gift than his two favorite games of all time. Love your company and all the cool things you sell. Brings me back to my childhood every time I see the orders you pack on Instagram. Okay, Beth, let's see. What is? What are the two games you're, you're getting for your husband? I'll start off with this first one here. And up in the S's area, Sports Illustrated. Got your first one right there. It's Space Invaders, good old school one. And you're also getting them. This one starts with T. You'll never guess what this one is. Not tennis. Tetris. Uh, they got two games. I'm gonna throw them into their dust covers right here. These are cool. Keep the games nice and safe in there. And Space Invaders, that's a good pick too. Okay, we've got one last item to get, and it's gonna be the handheld. Let's head it on back. Just cruising past the heart of DK Oldies here, the inventory department. And then handheld, you're gonna be right over here in this boxed area. And the one you're going with is a Game Boy Color system. In a cool color, it's gonna be in here uh, it's this one, Kiwi Green. All right, let's get it back to the table. All right, Beth, this is an awesome gift you're getting for your husband. He's gonna love this. Now, why don't you guys help me pick out a free gift that we can throw into Beth's order. We've got our two Game Boy cartridge uh, dust case covers. They're going with Space Invaders and Tetris and the Game Boy Color System in Kiwi Green. It's got a fresh screen protector right there on it. Thing looks beautiful. Okay, gift options. What I was thinking about for this order, I've got two right here that I am considering. To go along with their Game Boy order, we could either give them a free copy of Super Mario Land or a free copy of Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. The Game Boy version of Mario or the Game Boy Color version of Mario? What do you guys think we should throw into Beth's order for her husband? We're throwing up a poll. Why don't you guys throw in a vote? Whichever one gets the most votes, that's the free gift I'm throwing into Beth's order. How's poll going? Are we getting that up? Good work, good work. Okay, poll should be up there. What do you guys think? What's going on? Oh, thanks for reminding me, Ronald. Um, I do giveaways regularly on this channel. Today could be the day. All you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is share the post. <laughs> Lost my train of thought for a second. Share the post, comment right there in the chat that you shared. It's easy, gets you entered. Um, oh, Brady says, uh, throw in an extra dust cover. Ah, why not, Brady? All right, I like that, I like that thinking. Yo, what's up, Jesse? Um, okay. I like that idea. What's going on, Alex from Idaho, huh? Yeah, Noah. 
just like Brady was saying, throw in another dust cover too. Why not? What's up, John? From Minnesota, huh? I think we've got some other viewers up in Minnesota. Restocking the PlayStation shelves, you can see down there. All new games that have just gone into stock getting put up onto the shelves. Also, real quick, let me remind you, today we are doing our sale. We're run, running a sale this weekend. It started right now. You can take 20 bucks off any order over $100. It's 20% off. Coupon code FUN20. All you have to do is put that in at checkout, FUN20, and it'll take 20 bucks off any order you place over $100. Um, from a sunny Scotland, what's going on, Robert? Hi, Crystal, thanks for sharing. I'd love to come to Scotland, Robert. It sounds glorious. How's Paul looking? It's good. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. What was the votes like? 72. 72. Super Mario Bros. Wow, we doubled it. You guys were feeling Mario Bros. Deluxe? I think that's a great choice, everybody. Okay, Beth, thanks a lot for your order. Throwing in a free copy of Super Mario Bros. Deluxe since we're packing it up right here on a live stream. Plus, the chat said throw in an extra dust cover for you as well. I'm on board with that. Thanks a lot for the order, Beth. As soon as the stream is over, get it shipped out to you. All right, let's continue. Yo, what's up, Brian? I love unboxing this stuff, you know? And I would, it's, it's a lot of fun opening up the new collections and seeing what's inside. I'd be doing it if I was the only one, you know, if it was just me. But the fact that I get to do it with hundreds of you guys out there watching right with me live just makes it so much more fun. Uh, that's why I kind of, I try and give back when I can. You know, the giveaways that I do, all, all that kind of fun stuff. It's uh, it's because I really appreciate that you guys tune in. You really make it a lot of fun. From Tewksbury, Martin. What is Tewksbury? I've never heard of that. From Tijuana, Mexico. What's up, Raphael? Uh, okay, opening up today's collection. I do not see who it's from. No matter. Let's jump into it. First game out of the box, Porky Pig. Porky Pig in the Haunted Holiday. Look at him. He's holding the candle. You don't really see that much anymore um, at nighttime with your nightcap on, roaming the house with a candlestick. Keep going. Oh, wow. Some DS stuff, too. Wario, Master of Disguise. What's up, Shane? St. Petersburg, huh? This is Namco Museum. This is one of those games that has a bunch of the old school stuff. Pac-Man, Dig Dug. Um, well, that's a neat one right there. Let's continue on. Shonen Jump, Bleach, Dark Souls. Is this an anime? True, Supersonic. For the time being, we can only ship to planet Earth. However, we are in talks. We are in talks about getting stuff out to Mars, the moon. Soon enough. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai. Thanks for liking and sharing, Tracy. Appreciate it. Big help. Um, Crossroad Crisis, what? Kind of looks like a puzzle game. What's up, Alan? Happy Friday indeed. It is an anime, Jeremy says. And there's Monopoly. There's the hat right there. That's the hat. That's the piece, the piece that I play as. What do you guys think is the best piece to play as? The reason, okay, so the reason I like the hat is because it's got these curved edges here on the brim of the hat. And if you like rest it on the, the game board, you can kind of like, like zip it right around. I don't really know how to explain that real well. It's a little bit weird, but uh, that's why I go with the hat. What do you guys think? Car is cool. The thimble. Is anybody's favorite the thimble? Oh, is there a dog out there? Is there a dog piece? That'd be cool. Um, Jeremy, you plays the hat, the car, the car's cool, Woodrow. Yeah, Kevin, I could definitely get down with the car. What else even is there? All I can think of is the car and the thimble. Um, oh, and the shoe, Carl, a shoe liker, okay, okay. Judy, there's a ship. <laughs> it's clearly been a while since I've played. Uh, Tetris Plus, oh, this guy. Uh, the ship looks a little like the Titanic, Rich says. That's cool. 
Greg was a thimble as a kid. All right, we found a thimble user. I knew we'd find one, Greg. Thanks for admitting to it. Thimble, because it reminds me of the movie Hook. <laughs> That's cool, Andrew. Oh, yeah, the iron. You're right. There is an iron. That's crazy. I did say Z the British way. That's right, E. Green. I was throwing that out there for my British viewers. Uh, oh, there's a cat piece, Stephen. Your mom was always the thimble. What's up, Dave? There's Tarzan. And is that Shere Khan? I don't remember. What's up, Sly Stallone? Appreciate the kind words. Mahjong. I don't know too much about this. I think it's some sort of board game, though. I picked the biggest piece, so when the board goes fly in my piece, it's easy to find. It's hilarious, Sarah. Um, what's up, TJ? Happy Friday, indeed. Yeah, I don't know what Mahjong is. Um, a tile? Tile game with these, like, symbols on it or something? Your son's the T-Rex, Brad. I don't, do I, I don't know if I remember a T-Rex piece. Yeah, there's the thimble, and there's the car up there. What else do we have here? Some PlayStation 2 stuff, MLB. Buzz Jr., the Jungle Party. Oh, it's one of the... It uses the little hand buzzer thingies. What's up, Jeremiah from Helena, Arkansas? I do like fishing. I don't get to go too often. I'm... I'm very novice at it, but uh, a few times I've gone, I've enjoyed it. Allison, I'm glad you like the lives. I love doing it. It means a lot when somebody says they enjoy it as well. And backyard basketball. Look at this. Play with the pros as kids. And here we have Tim Duncan, evidently. And it looks like they've made almost like a me, like on the Wii version. <laughs> uh, here's one called Mojo. Kind of looks like a puzzle game, too. That seems fun. MLB. Roswell, New Mexico. What's up, Martin? Out there with the aliens, huh? You ever see anything cool out there? Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. What's up, Joseph? Thanks for sharing. What's up, Tom? Appreciate the kind words. Thanks for the love, guys. There's Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. Um, that's a really cool fighting game. And here's Tetris Worlds. Um, Sarah, massively sunburnt last time I went. No sunscreen, blistering sun, river for nine hours. Yeah. Um, maybe stay towards the edges of the river by the banks. I don't know. I, I get sunburn as well. Another Dragon Ball Z game, Budokai 3. Kalamazoo, Michigan. What's up, Joseph? And Family Feud, no way. Oh, look, there, there's um, Steve Harvey. Uh, what else do we have here? Raymond. Frogger. Ooh, Crash Team Racing. Good one on PlayStation. Oh, and check this out. A Funko Land sleeve. But it's not like an NES sleeve, it's a sleeve for a disc. Oh, this is crazy. Important, games need cleaning. Clean your CDs regularly. The Player's Edge CD Cleaner can be purchased at Funko Land stores. What? Yo, that's cool. Um, I see some Nintendo DS stuff down here. What do we got? Zookeeper, Flash Focus. There's a Game Shark for the Nintendo 64. Allows you to run cheats on the 64. Games plug in up top, and then you put the whole thing in the system. Just like the Game Genie back on the NES and Super Nintendo. What's up, Mr. Frog? What's going on, Frogger? And Cooking Mama. There's also Mario and Donkey Kong. Brady, do you remember Funko Land? Do they have those up in Canada? I remember other stores. There was like a Babbage's. Um, Zookeeper is fantastic, Bob says. Thanks for the recommendation. I wouldn't have known anything about it. Ten Pin Alley, I think that says. And there's Sonic Advance. Yo, you did get the mini Super Nintendo, Sarah. Nice. Third console purchase from us. Nice. I remember you got the 64 last time. That Super Nintendo mini is really cool. Um, tack. 
ATV something or other, and some racing rats. What? I remember this movie, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Does anybody anybody remember that? I think there was a segment in it where he sang a song with a, um, an alligator. I remember loving that movie as a kid. And at one point, they go to, like, a, a dog race track. I think it's dogs that are racing. Uh, there's Bad Mojo Jojo. Mo Mojo Jojo. Okay. Uh, Wario, Spyro, Spider-Man. Jeez, all kinds of stuff. More Dragon Ball down there, too. And what was under this one? Wrath, Crash of Cortex. Yes, yeah, Sarah, you remember All Dogs Go to Heaven? I feel like I'm going to have to check out some clips on YouTube from that now that it's coming back into my mind. Yo, what's going on, Joey? Another Joey out there, huh? You can never go back, Charlie. Oh, God, that was such a sad part. Yeah, retro, I remember that. You can never go back. Oh, gosh, it's all coming back to me now. Were there other songs in the movie? From the Philippines. What's up, Joshua? Joshua. Oh, yeah, let's make music together. Yeah, let's make music together. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember it now. Was that the alligator? <laughs> uh, Sega Superstar Tennis. There's Sonic right there. Oh, wow. Here we got Pets Cats too. And um, look at these guys fooling around. This guy seems to have pinned this smaller cat here. Some sort of wrestling move. He's got him with an arm bar coming right across. These guys are doing nothing to help. This guy... Oh, oh wait, what do you, choose a kitten from over 40 different breeds, okay, and make her cuter with clothing and accessories. So there you go, putting a shirt and it looks like some sort of skirt onto the cat, okay. Create a comfortable pet village, guide your lovable bundle of fur through 60 adventures. Here he looks like he's wearing an Indiana Jones hat, and compete against your friends in racing. Oh, we're in business, boys. We got Pets Dogs too, as well. Um, not so much tomfoolery going on on this one. This guy down here seems to have some tennis balls. And look at this guy. A boxer, maybe? But this guy is clearly the star of the show. Look at those ears, his neck. Look how proud he's standing there. Adorable. Oh, and this one. Look at this guy. It's like a long-haired version. Uh, he looks like you put pirates' hats on them. Oh, there's like a pug or something. And then compete against your friends in mini games such as racing, just like the cats. I wonder if you can get the dogs to compete against the cats. Mm, sounds perfect indeed. There's Dance Factory. Dance to any music CD, huh? Unlimited music, unlimited dance. Uh, let's see, we got some more Game Boy stuff. Mole, Mole, Mole Mania, Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas and Tim Burton stuff always scares me. I don't know what it is about his movies, but there's just something unsettling about them. And they're supposed to be kids' movies? Was Coraline, was that from him as well? I don't remember that being creepy. Um, Kirby Tilt and Tumble. It's one of the games, I think, with the accelerometer in it. NBA stuff, some more uh, Game Boy Advance. The Mighty Beans. Okay. A Grinch game. Vegas, Brain Games, Metroid, Texas, Kirby, Trash. Finally, let's take a look at these N64 games. San Francisco Rush. Love this one. Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I think that's another Tim Burton. That's right. And Star Fox. It's such a shame that Star Fox isn't featured on this label somewhere. Coraline is Neil Gaiman. Isn't he a writer, Bob? Neil Gaiman. Why do I know that? Oh, and, and Tim Burton did a Batman movie, too. I think I saw that on TV. Uh, Robotron. Lucas, you have a pug? Sounds adorable. Give him a pet for me. 
Buster move. Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I'm not entirely sure what this is like. Rocky, I do like Weezer. Um, can't think of a single song of theirs right now, but yeah, I do like uh, I do like their stuff. And what else we have here? Pokemon Puzzle Factory. Rampage World Tour. NBA Live. Clay Fighter 63 and one third. This is an interesting one you don't see often. Did somebody mention E.T.? We will not be talking about E.T. today. I do not have it in me to get into an E.T. discussion. I just, it's Friday. Having a good day. Um, Tetrisphere. This is a great one. I just gave this away as a free gift the other day. Love this one. I used to play this one all the time. It's such a neat... If you like Tetris, you'll love this. Uh, and Banjo-Kazooie. Okay. Let's do a giveaway. Let's do it. Come on, it's Friday. Um, okay, so we've got some options here. It looks like this Wario Master of Disguise... Mario vs. Donkey Kong on the Game Boy Advance. Oh, and Tetris Worlds on the PlayStation. Let's throw one more into the mix. What else do you guys think? Let's pick one more. One of these is going to be today's giveaway. Tetris Worlds, this Wario DS game, or Mario and Donkey Kong on the Game Boy Advance. Let's do one more. What else do you guys think? And then I'll put them up for a vote. Whichever one you guys vote for will be the giveaway. Family Feud. MLB stuff, Mojo, Jojo, Crash Bandicoots. The Pets games, let's not sleep on the Pets games. Um, Banjo, Star Fox, I see people suggesting some N64 stuff. Um, where'd Banjo go? Oh, Banjo, yeah, let's throw that in the mix. Okay, let's get a poll going up for these four right here. Tetris Worlds. Wario on the DS, Mario vs. Donkey Kong on the Game Boy Advance, or Banjo-Kazooie. Cole's working on getting a poll thrown up here for us. As soon as it's ready, you guys throw in your vote. Okay, Cole says poll is live. You guys can vote, and whichever one you vote for, I'm giving away for free today. I'll let you guys vote for a minute, do a quick walk around, see what's going on out here. I'll look out into the cleaning crew. I'll be back in a moment, Cole. A few last minute orders shipping out on Friday. All packages getting ready to ship out. All of these right here, all of those back there, and that's just the very beginning of it. Full bin over here filled with boxes. I don't even see the mailer bins. They may have been picked up already. Imagine that, that something that size full of mailers. Yo, Zane from South Africa, that's cool. Over here is the opening department. That's Tyler over there. He's the one who picks out the boxes that we open up every day. If you like the boxes, shout out to Tyler. Okay, let's come on back. See what you guys are voting for in this poll for today's giveaway. How are we looking, Cole? Looking good. Preliminary results, any early results coming in? Looks like the final is Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie won! Great choice, everybody. Fantastic N64 game right here. Somebody is about to win it for free, all for tuning in to the DK Oldies Friday live stream. Okay, here's how we're doing it. Cole has picked out six names at random from those who shared today's post, and one of these people will be today's winner. Our contestants include Joseph Aguirre, Eddie Frick, Julio Bello, Shane Wolterkins, Josh Joey, and Brian Cotterman. He conveniently here has a wheel with six spots on it. When you're ready, Cole. Look at him go. He's amazing at that. Okay, it's spinning around. 
Let's see who today's winner is going to be. Oh, you threw in a free space or something? Okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> Eddie, nice job, Eddie Frick. Congratulations, you just scored a free copy of Banjo-Kazooie. That's right, free copy. Okay, uh, reach out to me right here on Facebook. Email address, shipping address, all that good stuff I'm going to need to get your game shipped off to you. Everything else that we unbox today is making its way up to our website, dkoldies.com. One more reminder, our sale is running today. $20 off any order over 100 bucks. It's 20%. Just use code FUN20 at checkout. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. 